Hi there. This is the uh, River Weaver, and this is a spring, uh, swing bridge. And I'm going to have a look at this sign. And give us a bit of information. Oh, that little plaque there was a fisherman in 1940-odd. Mine's not in the best of condition, but uh, you can see there's the you are here. There we are. See? A lot keeper's cottage. I don't think we'll bother. Leave that for another day because actually we could go beyond there and further, further towards where it edge eventually ends in the. to see the Mersey actually so let's go Yeah, so you could continue this walk. Well, I'm going back towards Wins Winsford, where I've been. I've had lunch at the Red Lion pub. It was a curry and a pint. Uh, and I can continue on because it's linear. I have to go back, so the next one I'll start from here and then go back again to because there's a car park here needed, really, so... Look at that. And uh, in a very short time, we'll be encountering something that uh, Winsford River is famous for, or certainly more in the past, which is salt. So there's an old sign here. Public right of way. Oh, oh. Fair enough. Where's this guy going? He's crossing the bridge, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, there's plenty of room for both of us. Oh, the dog's gone in the in the uh, the river for a cool down. There he is. A little devil. Oh, they're waiting for me. Kind. Hi there. This is a private uh, pond. If it's an industrial thing, you know, like for salt mining, they're called flashes, but I just think it's a pond, this particular one. And uh, very peaceful. But you have to be a member of some angling club. The WDAA members only. Right. So that would be Winsford 
something. Oh, it's now Meadowbank Anglers Club. That doesn't fit in with the... Anyway, does it matter? It's a nice day. Look at this old sign here. God, that's been there for a long time. No motorcycles or something else. Didn't want to encounter the nettles just to spell it out. Leave it a mystery. Use your imagination. Only my motorcycles and surreys. Horses with surreys with a fringe on top. Yeah. It's a lovely cool breeze because it's a very hot day and also this path I, I was going to go a slightly different route uh, but I decided to take the one with the shade or the variety of shade so uh, I believe it's the hottest day probably more down the south of England but uh, it is hot so I had a, had a nice lunch with a cold beer. And there's the weaver heading off there and uh, not far from the salt works including the famous lion salt works that you can visit at certain times. It, the salt itself is mostly rock salt. You know, a bit like the stuff you see with the gritters that you use. But it can be processed, obviously, to turn into table salt or a culinary salt. I don't know whether it's... I've been here a few times and I have seen it working once. So I don't know, maybe they just work as and well, well the order is, I don't, because there's probably other, many other places abroad, this was at its height probably when they, they were exporting, I don't know whether they make it and export, well they don't make it do they, they, they dig it up. It's not that deep apparently and there's big mountains of it. Yeah, this is a series of paths uh, that, that obviously follow the weaver and others that go out a bit, maybe up to higher ground, wooded ground, a parkway.
I presume that that's the silo where the rock salt, salt or maybe they, they do store it as well up here but it's collected you can see there's a, a sequence of uh, processes and that seems to be where they can store quite a, a large amount and keep it dry. If you believe me, it doesn't matter. You can just take it with a pinch of salt. Ba bum. There are one or two dragonflies about, but they're so swift. I doubt if the, not only me catching them, but the camera isn't. Uh, there is a setting on that, but I can't do a walk. And then I have to stop the, it doesn't sort of allow me to change to that, you know, for something like a speedboat or a um, dragonfly or something. So it, it tends to slow it down, reduce the frame rate and, uh, yeah, it looks impressive. See that mount? Oh no, that's a building. That's another storage then ahead with this conveyor system. Or is it that where they dig it out? Who knows? I'm not an expert. But there's hundreds of tons of mountains of salt ahead. And it's obviously not working at the moment. Fisherman.
you can circle round this uh, parkway, but it's about a couple of hours. And uh, like I say, and you can also go further down the Weaver, but I, d I don't want it to be too long. Asking for volunteers. Uh, I see on official guide, he was telling me that's the way to Winsford. Still more rock salt there. Well, over there it looks like... Um, that looks like a, in the old days probably, I don't think they do it now. That looks like you can moor the boats up there and uh, load them with salt and take them back towards Liverpool. Uh, to export the salt wherever it goes from there. There might be the odd boat, who knows? Yeah, if it goes off to Liverpool, uh, they can still supply, the, there's the Manchester Ship Canal en route. There's the Anderton lift as well, they might not need to go that, up that far, carry on along the Weaver and uh, go on the uh, Manchester Ship Canal from there near the beginning. Or now they could go up on the Anderton lift, take someone to the Trent and Mersey. which no doubt they did. And they all lived on the boats in those days with their families.
I'll stop at this sign and if anybody wants to read it, because I won't be stopping long, they can just pause uh, the video for a while. Winsford Waterfront. As I say, there are all, well, there's lots of alternate routes and uh, there's one of them here, but I'm going to stick close to the, um, the weaver. Uh, not that it's not nice up there, but because it's always open for another journey. This is still navigable by boats, and particularly, uh, you know, the uh, narrow boats, private narrow boats, or uh, rented. But uh, you don't see them that often. I don't know why not. It's a, uh, it's a nice. Uh, it ends more or less where the pub is. At the Red Lion there, just beyond that, there is maybe a much more mooring. Now there's also a um, flash. But it, that's not navigable, it's too narrow. You can take a rowboat or a small low draft boat onto that. It's quite large, but uh, yeah, it ends at Winsford near the marina. There's a marina there. You could take, for example, a little dinghy or something from the marina, and they do sail on the large flash. One of my jobs was a, uh, a small bus I provided for schools and age concern and uh, sometimes they had to go to Winsford. It was one of the places for uh, training or something like that. So from Chester where I lived at that time I'd often go. Not on the river though, it was on a small council bus. And I remember just before you got to the the base at Winsford, there was a stop there. There was a fish and chip, but the, and then just before that was a specialist pie shop. And apparently, every driver that was going into Winsford and knew about it was stopping there. Something to do with North.
So I'll keep an eye out for a boat of some kind. You might find one. When I walked from there, I was at that swing bridge. I did film a chap on a very small boat. One of those fiberglass uh, launches or whatever. It wasn't big enough to have a cocktail bar, you know, for the what for the gin and all that stuff. A gin palace. But it was going at a fair whack. I've got the gimbal and the microphone today because it is a little bit windy. Um, and the, the microphone on the, on the phone is not very tolerant of, well, it's not meant for that, is it? You know, with a, a, bree a stiff breeze or something, it just is a bit noisy. So you got the weaver here and another one of these uh, I think that might well be a flash that's been mined for salt and then it fills with water and uh, becomes a le leisure place and the little stands for the with the numbered no, it's not a number on it, but it's definitely a fishing post thing. Look at that, that's more mountains of rock salt there, look at it. Yeah. here. Now the Tudor England, they used to collect this for the halls and even the king's castles. It was, uh, that's meadow sweet and it smells of almonds. You can imagine in the hall when you, King Henry legendary, you know, big leg of chicken and throwing it to the dogs. The, the big mud meadow sweet. Because imagine it stank a bit in those days, you know, I'm not critical. So I've spread a pile of Metasweet there. So if you take a note of that, you can gather that up in your hand. A bit like chamomile, which is in the daisy family. And it's highly scented. Just don't pick up the wrong one. It's similar to hemlock. So maybe if you're not sure, let's leave it. Oh, it's a lovely breeze.
the flower, have I? Oh, elder, to be correct. The elder flower's gone, and that, those berries, are, as you know, they go like little grapes, and they're used in elder, elderberry wine. a water outlet. Convenient seat there for a view. And there's some works up there. They do, they are near to the uh, weaver, right next to it actually. So whether at some stage it, the weaver was used for whatever it is, it doesn't state what they're making.
that's the uh, kind of industrial works. Is it mineral they're collecting? Something like that. They got hoppers, so could be the rock salt. Again, it's uh, possible. Yeah, there's remains of some kind of rail that would take it. Or is that just a strengthening? Because that's a an outlet there, so
Yes, I'm glad I took this particular. As I say, this is a parkway. Uh, and this is the most uh, shaded if you just keep near to the uh, weaver. There's a path just to your left that will avoid that mud there. Yeah, Can you see it? Yeah. Well, you missed it. Another little sign, might as well make a record, put it on top of the pops, history of Winsford Waterfront, yeah that's nice they point us out where we are I see. Still mountains of rock salt there, you know. Yeah, loads of it. Well, that's enough of the salt. I've, I've got enough on my plate. It was a curry actually, lunchtime. You know, they ask of what uh, what was it like, and uh, normally it was a bit dry, so I said mango chutney. So the red line says they're going to get some mango chutney with to go with your curry. Yeah. Fisherman over there as well. Can't zoom in on that very well, so anyway.
There was a little drink party there and I thought I wouldn't disturb them. You know, mum might watch that and find out what's he doing, he's not old enough or something like that. I couldn't assess them all so just paused it. Had a little chat actually, good lads. Right, I'm going to stop here for a second have a drink of water. That's better. Got rid of a few stones out my shoes as well. It's funny, it's a flat gravel, very fine gravel pack, but there's always something gets in your shoe, isn't there? Somebody on a bike. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Not far now. I didn't park at the red line where I started. Uh, it was a bit further on, but that's where I'll stop. Do a quick... Um, you know around the pub.
you remember this red sign near the start? Well, there's its twin, and I might be able to interpret the final the line on it. Let's see. Ah, no might, motorbikes or quads. Fair enough, we know now. This is the red line, and you've got a canal side view if you don't want to sit inside. I sat inside because it was hot and had my hot curry. There we are, look at that. There you go. It's got its own car park. I've got another sign here. the old uh, you are here thing again yeah so this is where the journey ends somebody dropped a drink so uh, I'll stop here I'll just do the frontage there's the sign at the back there Through the frontage of the pub. Oh, it's open. And there's a pub. So I get this. Just step a little bit from the road. Okay. Hope you enjoyed the walk and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.